Hey guys, welcome to Technical Chef. My name is Thomas Grabowski, and today I want to show you how to make your very own root vegetable chicken soup. Now, for this recipe, we're going to need one whole chicken, some root vegetables, and some delicious bone broth to add some serious flavor to our soup, as well as some nice herbs and seasonings and spices. So if you're ready to cook, come on with me, and let's learn how to clear our skins using real whole foods. Let's dive in. All right, so for the ingredients, what we're going to need is one organic whole chicken. Um, a we're going to be using uh, two carrots. I have some leftover carrots here I'm going to be using for this recipe, but two long and thick carrots are going to be awesome for this recipe. <laughs> um, I'm also going to be using about two to three celery stalks. Again, I'm using some leftovers that I have, some leftover pieces of celery that just been laying around. Um, use whatever you have, um, but celery will be needed for this recipe. Really nice. Uh, it's going to add a lot of nice aromas and flavors. I love celery. Really good. I'm also going to use about one to two sweet potato. I still haven't quite decided, um, but I'll probably use two sweet potatoes for this recipe. You can use a little less. Uh, sweet potatoes are obviously very sweet, but they're nice root vegetables that are really good and add a lot of flavor to the dish, but also add nice texture um, when you're eating the soup as well. So I really like adding some sweet potatoes to this recipe as well. Next, what we're gonna do is we're going to add one celerac root. And for our seasonings, I'm just going to use um, two bottles of vegetable broth. You can also use organic bone broth. Bone broth actually has a lot of collagen and all the essential minerals your body needs to function at its optimal level. And it's really good for your skin. So if you want to have acne clear skin and you want to have better looking skin and increased collagen production, start drinking it from the source, straight from bones. Next, I'm just going to use some salt and pepper for seasoning and I'm going to use some bay leaves. If you want, you can add things like garlic powder or cumin or any kind of herbs and spices that you enjoy adding to soups. So feel free to play around with the seasoning and add it to your soup. So to start this recipe off, I'm just going to take one organic chicken and I'm going to place it in a large um, 10 to 20 quart stainless steel pot. I'm using a 14 quart pot. You can use anything between 10 to 20. That'll be sufficient for any kind of recipe. If you don't have any pots, I'd recommend you invest within at least a medium to large pot. So when you are making larger recipes like this, that way you're going to be having a lot of food available throughout the week and you don't have to worry about not having a healthy recipe ready to go. A lot of times we make excuses because we aren't prepared when it comes to eating healthy. So preparation goes a long way and having a large stock pot in your repertoire is going to be a great way to start off your healing journey. Alright, so once you get your chicken in the stock pot, what we're going to do is simply chop all of our vegetables. Alright, so what I'm doing here, I'm simply peeling and chopping my vegetables. I'm going for about one inch chunks here. Now I'm onto the celery here, and again, just go for about one inch chunks like so. All right, next what I'm going to do is peel about one to two sweet potatoes here. I'm going to add it into another bowl as well. Make sure to wash these thoroughly before you slice them. And always when you are buying sweet potatoes, make sure you're buying organic varieties. Now, I'm not sure if you guys are getting this, but these sweet potatoes are so freaking oh, fucking beautiful. Like they're nice and purple and you can see how much deep pigments they are. So this is another reason why to pick organic. They're more nutrient dense. These are nutrient dense foods, foods that are found in good soil, and this is what you want. So I'm simply going to cut the sweet potato in half, then take each half and cut them lengthwise again, like so. Once you've cut them lengthwise, you'll have two long pieces. And again, we're gonna cut, we're gonna change the angle like this. And we're simply going to create, again, one inch chunks. So if you've never cooked anything in your life before, that's how you're going to slice and dice and cube a sweet potato so you can have a delicious, nice tuber vegetable soup. And surprisingly, as I'm making this video, I think I'm going to add some cinnamon into this soup recipe. We're going to get some sweet flavors that's going to really accentuate the sweetness from the sweet potatoes. And we're going to add some cinnamon flavors. 
If you have them available, I would actually get maybe one or two cinnamon sticks and throw them right in there so you don't have to use the powder. And that way when the soup boils, you're going to really extract all of that amazing flavor from the cinnamon. So that's probably something I'm going to add to my uh, shopping list as well. But if you have uh, some extra cinnamon sticks laying around, throw a couple of them in this recipe. I promise you it's going to taste really good. And maybe some cumin as well. So I used about one and a half sweet potato here. So I would say maybe use one large sweet potato. Again, I eyeball my vegetables and see kind of what would create a good dish. And now what we're going to do is prepare the celery root again. So it's very rooty on the bottom. Like you can see how alive this thing is. So again, we're putting a lot of living foods into our diet. So we're going to want to cut off the butt here and then peel it off. And then we're going to want to cube it. Now this might be a little difficult to do since it's very big in nature, but if you can get like a medium or small size one, that'd be perfect. Um, I'm probably going to use the whole thing or maybe half. We'll see. I'm just going to start chopping and see what works. So again, I'm eyeballing here, I'm kind of intuiting what's going to be um, going into my soup. And I recommend you do the same, but this is going to be a great place to start. And um, yeah, just follow this recipe and I promise you're going to have a delicious soup ready to go. So chop. I might even use the knife here because it's so big. So yeah, I'm just going to cut, cut around with the knife because this is so bulbous. <laughs> it's like a big bulb. So we're just going to cut around the bulb. All right, so after you cut all that stuff off, you should have this head of a bulb here. It's looking nice and smooth. So I'm probably going to use half of this and maybe put the rest in the fridge for another recipe or I'm going to cube it and then just freeze it. So again, cut in half and cube. So again, you want kind of one inch cubes. These are a little bit bigger, but two inches. Don't go any bigger than two. Again, I'm just going to throw these into the bowl here. So after you're done, you're going to have a nice big bowl full of chopped vegetables. And all you're going to do is add that into your stainless steel pot with your chicken. So what I have here is some fresh organic rosemary. I would also recommend some fresh thyme, which is one of my favorite seasonings to cook with. It goes with chicken, steak, a lot of red meats, uh, even pork. But um, I don't have any with me right now, so I'm just going to use a couple sprigs of rosemary here. So I'm just going to take these and add them into my pot here. I'm also going to grab some peppercorns and I'm going to grab like a small handful, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon here and I'm just kind of eyeballing it. I'm throwing it in here. So it's kind of looking like a little bit like Christmas in here, like a Christmas roast. So it's looking really nice. Um, you got this nice roast going on here. Looks delicious. Next, I'm going to add some salt as well. I'm going to season my vegetables and my roast like if I'm cooking this in the oven. I'm also going to add a little bit of organic olive oil here. I'm going to add maybe one or two tablespoons, just a little bit just to add some healthy fats and some flavor to the dish as well. <clears throat> if you want to take it an extra mile, you can also mix in those ingredients with your hands, kind of mess them all around, kind of get them evenly coated. Um, but that's completely optional. You don't have to do that. I'm going to opt not to today, but if I wanted to feel a little messy, I would, but today I'm just going to add my, you know what? Maybe I will. <laughs> No, I'll probably pass on that. And, uh, but yeah, if you do want to get some more of those flavors, just put your hands in there and mix it all together with your hands. Evenly coat those uh, vegetables with the salt and the seasonings. Next, I'm going to add a couple of bay leaves here. Again, these are going to be seasoning my chicken. So I'm going to use two here. Um, I'm going to add maybe one more. Yeah, so I'm going to add three here or two large bay leaves. And finally, I'm going to finish off the recipe just by adding my liquid. So this is going to be the last ingredient I'm going to add into my bowl, my pot. <laughs> All right. So now what I'm going to do is place the lid on top of this um, stock pot and I'm going to place this on top of a hot burner on high heat. 
Okay, so once your stock pot starts boiling at a high heat, you're gonna lower the temperature to a low heat, usually on the two setting or low on the um, induction or the gas stove top. And you're gonna wanna simmer that soup from anywhere between 50 minutes to an hour and 25 minutes, depending on the size of the chicken. So I recommend about one hour to an hour and 15 minutes for about a three to four pound chicken. If you wanna make sure to, if you wanna know when the chicken is ready, simply take a meat thermometer and stick it within the thigh of the chicken or the breast and make sure the internal temperature is reading at 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Anything over that should be a good indication that your chicken is ready. All right, and that's the recipe, guys. If you guys wanna see more recipes like this, feel free to follow on my YouTube channel. Again, once your soup is ready, I'd highly recommend you take the chicken out of the soup where you can debone the chicken and put it in a tight lock, tight locking um, glass container and you can simply pour a scoop or two of the soup into a bowl add a little bit of chicken You could also cook some organic basmati rice on the side um, Or have some potatoes as well, but I think basmati rice is a nice addition to the soup recipe here And that's it guys. Um, this serves about four to eight people I would say at least eight servings from this from the big chicken um, It's great to have on a cold day um, make it for yourself, prep for the week, make this on a Sunday, have a meal every day for lunch. You're pretty much set up with at least four to eight meals, so you're gonna be having yourself covered, whether you have a busy work week ahead of you, or you're cooking for your family or your friends. This is gonna be a recipe that you're gonna to wanna to go to. Again, thanks for watching the video, guys. If you wanna see more acne clear fighting videos like this, feel free to like and subscribe. And then again, guys, if you wanna have healthy looking skin, start taking care of your health by eating real, organic, whole foods. That way you're gonna feel good from the inside out and you're gonna be on the right steps and taking the right steps to the journey of having acne clear skin. Till then, guys, I'll see you on the other side. Take care.